Boston framework. because uh, we were invited by the Korean government, by the Blue House, to go inside the Blue House and film. Yes, this video is sponsored by the Korean government, the Blue House. The Blue House is where the Korean presidents typically live and work. Yeah. We are first though going to eat lunch and then we're going to explain a little more in detail what we're doing and why after lunch. We're really, really hungry. So we need to fuel up before going in. That's right. And this area is Gwanghwamun Square, yep. so we're gonna walk around here and show you guys Gwanghwamun and then go over to Samcheongdong area and have lunch. Around this area, there are a lot of different types of cuisine. We found this specific uh, Western sandwich. Is it a sandwich place? Yeah, one? it's like a sandwich place, which I've been craving like a lot these days. Because once it gets cold, I just want like, I want a carbo load with bread. <laughs> there's so many different types of cuisine here because there's a lot of like foreigners who come to visit this area. So you can get like traditional Korean food with a lot of side dishes mm -hmm. and like seafood. There's a lot of grilled meat places if you're yeah. here in the evening. Lots of choices. time in 74 years that the Blue House has been open to the public. So like the current president has chosen not to reside there, he's somewhere else. So as a result, like citizens and mm -hmm. residents, yeah. I guess are yeah. allowed to <laughs> go in and see it for themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they open in May and yeah. already I heard that over 2 million people have visited this place. Everybody's been so curious. Yeah. Oh man. I, I, I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous too. I think we're gonna go through this gate around that area. Okay. And we're gonna show you guys inside the blue house. We're officially inside the grounds, I guess I would call it. This is the Chunchuguan. This is where the president speaks to the media and nation. So we're gonna go a little deeper inside the grounds here because there's other buildings as well. Mm. And we're gonna kind of show you guys around this area. This way anyway. Oh. <clears throat> this place, this is probably what you see on the news. It's weird to stand in here. It's very weird. Yeah. Especially for me. I wonder if Canadians ever like stood in this. No, you're the first, okay. you're the first corner for a building standing here.
does look like somebody's house. Yeah. Because it is. This yeah. is the presidential residence, and it does feel very private and intimate. I'm very struck by the color of the roof tiles. It's like this beautiful, bright turquoise blue. Mm. And I made him put his glasses on so he can see it, yeah. the colorblind glasses. Yeah. So we're going to go inside mm -hmm. the grounds of the presidential residence, which mm -hmm. sounds crazy, but like, here we go. <laughs> Than I thought it would be inside. So, this is where the Look. presidents used to live. I wish this is my house. Seriously. Wow. Oh my god. This is so neat. There's like this very contrasting view with like the traditional Hanok structure and like the city mm -hmm. buildings below. All right, so this is definitely a very different vibe from uh, Parliament Hill in Canada, in Ottawa, which is the capital. And I've been there a couple times when I was really little, and I have like old pictures of when I went with my family. So the structure of Parliament Hill is basically Gothic revival style. Think of like castle, cathedral type of feeling, like really, really sharp and tall towers, gables, pointed windows, arched ceilings, that kind of thing. What's a little bit different is that the Canadian Prime Minister does not reside at Parliament Hill. That is strictly just for like, you know, the government of Canada to gather. Usually the Prime Minister of Canada resides at 24 Sussex Drive, but the current Prime Minister is living at Rideau Cottage, which is another residence that is owned by the government. So he's living somewhere different right now. And the Korean president is living somewhere different right now. So this is a very weird time <laughs> for both of our like country's leaders, I guess. They made this residence using Korean traditional Hanok style. They used the wooden framework and they used blue tile on top, like on the roof. And it also has just like this beautiful, serene yard. And over there, there's a sarangche, which is kind of like a traditional room where men used to enjoy leisure time, like reading, studying mm -hmm. literature. Like, yeah, writing poetry. Yeah, a man cave. Man cave. <laughs> <laughs> Old days, yeah. I suppose. office building of the blue house and it's pretty surreal not gonna lie the architecture is so beautiful it is again the traditional korean style but there are 150,000 of those blue tiles mm -hmm. on the roof yeah. of like you know these structures mm -hmm. which is crazy and this building is directly south of Pugak mountain it was really wow. amazing when we came around the corner and you first see it like it's just smack in the middle of the mountain like you see, it's just so symmetrical and pleasing <laughs> i can't believe that we're standing in front of the main office building of blue house so this place is the inside of the main office building of the blue house Hey, for some reason, this reminds me of the Titanic movie. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> I was just thinking of like Leo standing there and like Kate Winslet coming down the stairs. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this place is where they used to do summits. Country's leaders will come here and meet. And this is the photo zone. A lot of uh, leaders will sit and take pictures. And now I'm standing here. I would, I would love to sit, but... <laughs> Alright, so this is Sanchunde and it's absolutely beautiful, traditional Hanok style and it's the perfect kind of building basically to showcase to state guests from other countries what Korean architecture is like. And they used to have meetings in here too. Basically this is uh, for foreign guests like me. Yeah, it's really beautiful. For me, I always love the roof. Me too. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. All right, the building behind us is the state reception hall. So basically, when foreign guests and heads of state would come, they would treat them to a buffet. They would have traditional Korean performances, basically like whining and dining them yeah. when they arrived in Korea. Yeah. And also every weekend they do performances around this blue house area so if you guys come on the weekends and you can see different types of performances but there's no one but us to perform for today so yeah. no one's here <laughs> Okay, so what do you think? It was a really cool experience. I mean, you guys have no idea how curious I've been for like the last 10 plus years. Like what is in there? Yeah, well, you same know? for me. Yeah, I just, I never expected to be able to go in. Cause like, you know, yeah. up until now you couldn't. Yeah, so for those of you who are planning to visit Korea, this is a must go place. Yeah. And it's not only for adults, but also as a whole family you guys can enjoy. And we certainly enjoyed it. Yeah. Now we finished seeing Blue House. We're gonna head back to Gyeongbokgung Station and go home and meet Bimo. Yeah, we saw a lot of uh, animals too inside, like cats and Oh my gosh, squirrels. there was a little guard cat with the guard. It was so cute. <laughs> Thank you again so much for the Korean government giving yeah. this opportunity for us to look inside and film. It was just amazing experience. Yeah, it was really cool. Thanks so much for watching guys and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.